What's up, gamers? We are gonna get started very shortly. Using my fingers. Blue Narosa says, I start clues not high on crime. Nice. Nice. Starting early. My cough machine's going to background. Anyway, see you soon. It is what it is. Um, so, just to recap what happened. Um, he, he had one baby. Yes, it was the Joker. Ha 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 ha. Of course. Ha 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 ha. Of course. He, he, he had one baby. Yes, it was the Joker. Ha 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 ha. Of course. Ha 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 ha. Hello. My name is Abby Russell. This is my 100 baby challenge. Great. Um, so, just to recap what happened. Um, he had one baby. Yes, with the Joker. I think we have 
had one baby, yes, with the Joker. Ha 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 ha, of course. And then Remy is pregnant with Linguini Alfredo's baby from Ratatouille. Linguini Alfredo's baby. Hand waving smile. Hello friends, we're about to get started. Don't get too excited. Or do. Whatever. Tweak the sound. Okay. I'm about to play Frog Detective 3 on Twitch. Hope to see you there in parentheses. Unless all over. Great. Is there a frog that you could get from here? Frog. Hater. Great. Gooby Man, thank you for subscribing for 19 months. I'd actually be on camera for reading this whole pandemic. I hadn't actually had to be on camera for reading this whole pandemic, so my man decided to start today. Very self conscious. Oh my god. Oh my god. I. Yeah, that's. I'm sure your manager read like some article that was like, people are better when you can see their face. But who knows? Who knows? Okay. Well, anyway, shall we get started? Wait, hold on. Yes. Okay, gonna give it a go. Ready? Talk. Boop. Oh. We did it. Hello. My name's Abby. Here's my lens cap. It's like an insignia lens cap. I got this camera used, but it's a Sony camera, and I'm like. What happened to the original lens cap? And where's the insignia lens that is capless? I beat the game the other night. Such a fun trilogy. That's great. I did not. Oh, you know something I want to say before we get started? Y'all remember that Nancy Drew speed run I did? Y'all remember? Well, I freaking submitted it. But it's a waiting verification. It's been a waiting verification for like a month now. Since the 5th of freaking October. I want to be 12th on the leaderboards right after Argofump. But uh, the mods need to approve it. And I'm like, who do I DM to approve it? Who do I DM? Someone said their backlog is massive. Yeah, that makes sense. But, and I can't imagine that Nancy Drew is high up on their list. Just let me on there. <laughs> Just let me on there. Mondo Michelle is going to verify it. I hope you do. Oh, we did it on Junior Detective. But I could do it on Senior Detective. See if I'm competitive with it. At some point, we got to go back. Because I honestly really enjoyed that. Um, show rules. Beat the game on junior mode. Timer starts when you select difficulty and ends when the ending letter play begins playing. Oh, I may not have timed it out right. I actually fucked this up. The timing I fucked up. Um, whoops. <laughs> okay, let's show rules on game rules. Debug features, speed of gameplay, cheat menu, fast conversations are banned. What? 
Um, showing the first person shooter coordinate tracker display for the game version display is fine. What? I'm confused. Anyway, maybe I don't qualify anymore. I just didn't time it right. I need to redo my time, I guess. I have to redo my time. If that's the case. Oh my god, my freaking Steam Deck. Dream Deck. Ugh. What is going on with my camera? Why? What the heck? Okay, there we go. Well, my stream duck's turned off for some reason. Let's see if I can fix this. Stream deck. Stream deck. Look, I gotta, it, the, the run still stands. I just timed out the run wrong. I should see if there's a way in my OBS I could make a timer going and we can do it for proper, for real. I'd be down to try. I would be down to try another speed run and do it on a difficult setting as well. Maybe one day. Anyway, today I have a LaCroix. You know what? I'm also going to get my water bottle. Hold on. One minute. are so cute. Drink them. Let's go. Yes. So I have my Twitch partner water bottle that still has water in it from yesterday, but I'm trying. I want to drink it. Yes. I don't want to waste water. I do love this water bottle. I will say. I love this. Um, and then I also have a LaCroix. I had some friends over for, oh gosh, I almost dropped it, for Halloween. And they love the lime LaCroix. So I got them a bunch of lime LaCroix. They would feel welcome and hydrated in my home. And I have a coffee with oat milk here. Do a little mixy mixy, a little sippy sippy. Mm. Oh, Dizzy Liz, you got a hydration check. Okay, what do you want? We got, we got the Twitch water. We got a coffee that I don't want to pick up because it'll slosh. We got a coffee. Or we have a LaCroix. Was it a themed get-together? It was for Halloween. Oat milk is the best alt milk. I agree. But it was... I had them come over for Halloween to give kids candy. And... No kids came. Absolutely no one came. Um, I had a sign on the door that said, like, knock for treats. Absolutely no one. Oh, fuck. My pumpkin is rotting outside. I need to bring it in. I keep forgetting. I'm stuck at work for two more hours with no coffee. Dizzy Lizzy. Do you have a drink preference or is it dealer's choice? Dang. Zero kids. I know. I know. I want... I want trick-or-treaters. Why are there no trick-or-treaters? Is that just like... I was like, it's a city thing, maybe. More water. Okay, great. Water it is. Thank you. We got one kid. What? Cheers. Thank you. I, we got 20. That's nice. I was like, okay, so we're in an apartment building. So like, there's probably something. I don't know. I get that there might not be a bunch of kids about in an apartment building. I wasn't sure how it would work, but there's like a billion kids in my building. So I would think they would go around the apartment building. Like, where are they going trick or treating? Where do people trick or treat? Does LA have a Halloween parade equivalent like New York City? I didn't know that New York had a Halloween parade. Gonna keep it real. Um, Around my town is apparently a big thing for kids to steal candy bowls. <laughs> That's fun. It was raining here yesterday, so it kind of makes sense. But we hadn't had any in the last couple of years. What the heck? Did COVID kill trick or treating? COVID? Uh, apartments are urban rural. Zero kids. Zero trick or treaters. What? We had 50 kids. Oh my god. Hot Topic Dropout lives in the kids zone. Wow. That's cool. I saw a lot of signs for trunk or treat where all the parents gather somewhere safe so the kids aren't wandering around in the dark. Like, they give them stuff out of trunks? Also, like, that's 
boring. I don't know. I don't... Is it that safe or unsafe to, like, go door to door in, like, a neighborhood with a bunch of kids out? Genuinely. I don't know. I trick-or-treated for years growing up. Never felt unsafe. Yeah, out of their cars, like, in a parking lot. That sucks. Ugh. I do know in New York, kids would trick-or-treat, like, in stores. <laughs> they would just, like, go store to store and ask for candy. Anyway. Anyway. Shall we get started and play some Frog Detective 3? So I will say I played a little bit of Frog Detective 3. I, I popped in uh, just to sort of get going, and then I was like, I'd rather play this on stream. Okay, this feels a little loud. Let me turn this down. Is it still too loud for y'all? The music's awesome. Okay, let me let me know if that's too loud for you guys. Uh, sorry. Okay. Play. What are the options? I'm gonna check out the options because it's fun. Okay. Back. Audio. Okay, back. Keyboard and mouse. Okay, back. Okay, I'm not playing with a controller. Actually, a huge spike in cars hitting kids on Halloween. Oh, man. Damn. Okay. Um, I'm gonna do a new game. I was gonna continue. I didn't really play much, but we'll just start fresh. Yep. Start a new game. Ooh, I'm excited. Here we go. Here we go. Here. We. Go. Okay. Hey, it's Mary. Remember me? I know it's been a while, so I thought I'd give you a quick recap. I love the cursor. Okay. I also love her shirt. After the detective, that's you, solved the case of the invisible wizard, a mysterious phone call came in. Well, it wasn't that mysterious. It was the supervisor, as usual. But the contents of the phone call were mysterious, you know? Okay, let's set the scene. I'm a good actress, it'll be exactly like what happened. Alright, Mary, we'll be the judge of that. Okay, I'm moving around. I remember! I remember dancing in Frog Detective 1 and 2. Yes. Don't worry, I know. There's my notebook. I made that. Oh my gosh, hey, it's me, the Detective Frog. Hey, gorgeous! I'm the supervisor. I'm kind of like your boss, but not officially. Oh my gosh, I know. It's so hard to describe our professional relationship. But you're like a helper of sorts. Yes, exactly. Like a manager, almost. Yeah! Okay, so I have a new mystery for you. Can you even believe it? <laughs> yes, ha ha ha. It's my job to solve mysteries. Ha ha, obviously I was being dramatic. Classic supervisor. Okay, so what's the case about, babe? I love your enthusiasm, but it's actually really sensitive, so I can't tell you on the phone. Ah, boo. I know, bummer. Makes so much more exciting, though. Okay, for sure, yeah. Can you do me a huge favor, lovely? What? Grab your magnifying glass next to the door and head to the train station. There's a ticket for you there, and it'll take you on a little trip. Cute, okay. Okay, I'll talk to you soon. Thanks, love. Later. So now I think we're all caught up on the other games. Give me my notebook. I decorated it like this, with a cute cactus with two eyes, and an egg and a sun, and I want it. Give me my freaking notebook. Sick. Now I can call solve the case. I'm the frog detective. Thanks, Barry. Okay, we need our freaking notebook, though. Not enough. Right click. Woo! That's a fun effect. Try to solve the mystery of who's the best dancer. I think it's this gal. Or guy. Okay. Okay, so the detective um, heads to the train station and it's all so cool. Like there's a new color scheme and stuff. Oh, look at the worm running the train. That's cute. But can you believe it? Someone literally takes the detective's notebook. That weird hand. It's so messed up. Actual tears in my eyes. Seriously. I don't think the detective knows about the stolen notebook yet. So, you're actually up to date now. Okay, great. 
please, if you could leave a review of my acting skills, I'd super appreciate it. Okay, enjoy the case. All right, Mary, five stars, and you get an Oscar. What's the Australian Oscar? Look at his cowboy boots. They're an Australian Oscar. Like the Australian equivalent. Oh yeah, Frog Detective's also here. Look, it's you. It's you, Frog Detective. All right, here we go. That's, that's the Frog Detective. Wait, don't leave me, Worm, don't leave me! I love you! Dang it. Okay, phones are ringing. Hello, this is Frog Detective from Frog Detective Crime Solving Agency speaking. How may I help you? Why did you answer the phone like that? Supervisor's here. Look at this chef guy. <laughs> oh, that's fun. What's that supposed to mean, Supervisor? This is a random phone on the street. Why did you assume it's ringing for you? I'm the only one here. You don't think it's a little weird? Not really. You're the one making a phone call to a random phone. It's because I knew you'd be there. Now who's the weird one? This is a good point. Regardless, I'm glad you picked the you picked up. I'm sure you're curious about this mystery. I sure am. Give me the details, please. I cannot. Someone may be listening. What? Who? We're certainly not streaming this out to people. I saw on the internet that it's possible for strangers to listen to phone calls. Who said that? My cousin wrote all about it on his blog. Okay, well, if you're not going to tell me the details, why did you call? I have a special surprise for you. As you know, the terrain of Cowboy County is, a va is vast and rough. I've ordered something special from Wizbay to help you get around. Oh, is it a horse? What? No. Why would you say that? It's a cowboy town. What do you mean? Cowboys ride horses. Are you being serious? Horses are valued members of society. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> it would be demeaning to ride them around. It's messed up that you would even say that. Right. Sorry. <laughs> I just got confused. Don't worry about it. <laughs> what did you order then? I hope we meet a horse in the game. A scooter, of course. Sick. It should be next to you in the phone booth. Bold choice to have it shipped to a public phone booth. Please stop questioning my choices. Anyway, when you're ready, pick up the scooter and get some practice in. Lobster Cop arrived early and will be waiting for you at the town. Just follow the path to meet him and have fun. Hope you have fun too. I will. Alright, see ya. Cool, good call with the supervisor. And we got a scooter. Scooter time, my very own scooter. Sick. Great, got a scooter. Got a scooter. Scoot, scoot. Whee! Hop on with left shift. Oopsies, I actually hopped off. Wee! I'm scooting! Oh yeah. It's freaking Tony Hawk up in here. Wee! Let's do a sick jump! Oh my god, I did it! I'm scooting! Oop. I'm scooting. Cool intro! Always be scooting, ABS. You get it. The music is very good so far. Lobster cop. Sussy rabbit? Cute. Susie rabbit? That's Susie? Sherman and the bandits? Oh my god, look at the little guy in the back! That's me! That's me! Frog detective, of course, of course. I love the twangy noise. Plus a special guest! Who could it be? Who could it be? Is it George Clooney? That's what the outline looked like to me. Alright. Frog Detective, that's you. That's you, okay? That's you. Frog Detective 3! Corruption at Cowboy County! That's cute. Uh, Twitch is letting me know I should remind you to follow. Which is always a funny thing when I see it. Grace and Thomas! Fun. Fun. Okay. Woo! Oops! I didn't mean to hit shift. I always do that. Jump! I think I want to hold down shift to go faster. Oh man. Aww. <laughs> I can't go off. 
wanted to go explore. Okay. Hey, Lobster Cop. I'm here to solve the mystery. Ooh, good reveal. Right on time, Detective. I'm known worldwide for my timeliness. Is that so? Nope. Can you tell me about the case, Lobster Cop? I sure can. We've been sent here to solve the conundrum of the Sheriffless County. Oh. This town was thriving, Detective. A marvel of productivity, friendship, community, and cowboys. But there was something missing. A sheriff. Yeah. I was kind of leading up to that. Oh, my bad. For the sake of storytelling, can you please not interrupt? I sincerely apologize. Yeah. So anyway... I've lost where I was going with this. You said there was something missing? Right, there was something missing. A sheriff! The town had realized that for all these years they were missing a vital ingredient for cowboy living. They contacted the supervisor and he contacted me. And me. Yeah. Anyway, here we are. I'm gonna be honest, Lobster Cop. The supervisor really hyped this case up. Like, there are two of us here to facilitate the hiring for a management position? Detective, you read my mind. The supervisor really dropped the ball. Did you really think I needed your help? No. Me neither. And as it turns out, I didn't need your help. The position has been filled. Oh? I knew the perfect boy for the job. Presenting... The new sheriff of Cowboy County. Cute. Sheriff Mason Mole. Wow. Congratulations on such a speedy resolution, Lobster Cop. Thank you. Well, I guess I'll head back to the office. No! No. Hmm? No, you cannot. Is there something you need help with? Yes. This is how the mole talks. What is it, Sheriff Mason Mole? Mystery. He's weird. I like him. Crime mystery. Please solve this. What's the mystery? All hats have been stolen. You're wearing a hat? Not my hat. Town hats. Can you elaborate? All the hats in town have been stolen. Please solve this mystery as soon as possible. Where are the freaking hats? Do you have any leads? I hope Frog Detective gets a little cowboy hat by the end of it. Get to work, please. Well, you heard the sheriff. Okay. Um, is there really no additional information? No. But here is your notebook. I'm sorry? Here, notebook. Somebody mailed it to you. Notebook! I didn't even know it was missing. Not missing. It's right here. Can I ask a question? No, I am busy. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> That's fun. Haha, <laughs> what a legend. You know each other? Sure, but how much can you really know someone, right? What? Don't worry about it. Now, Detective, as I am the lead investigator of this case, I trust you will follow my guidance. Oh, I didn't know you were the lead. It's a safe assumption to make. Right, of course. So, I'll be investigating leads, but I could use your assistance. Sure, what do you need? Hmm. I'll handle the motive and suspects. You handle the crime seed and method. Okay. It's an easier task for a rookie like you. All you need to find is a map of the crime scene. Okay, gameplay. A tool capable of aiding criminal activity. Okay. A key that could lead us to the clue. So it's location, weapon, murder weapon, and motive, we'll say. And lastly, not to mention the most important part, a meal for the number one best detective. Oh, that's cute. A meal? Yes, detective. Keep up. I'm a very hungry boy, and I will need sustenance to solve the mystery. I have some sandwiches I was saving for afternoon tea if you'd like them. No, I need a proper meal. I hear you loud and clear. I'll make sure to get those for you. If you need to be reminded of what I want, come and see me by the graveyard. Will do. Good luck, lobster cop. I don't need it. Good luck, detective. All right. We're going. It is very good already. Tab. This is my notebook. This is how I decorated it. Oh, I want to see... I don't- it didn't keep over- I don't know if it kept my decorations. Ooh. 
Oh, I like that it's from low down because we're short. There's no possible motive for this lobster cop to do this. Needs criminal speed map, criminal tool, key, meal. Hey, it's lobster cop. Number one best detective. I'm very jealous. So tall. <laughs> That's fun. Magnifier, notebook, scooter. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. All right. <clears throat> we got to find some suspects. Uh, travel around. I could have kept going, but. Ooh! Oh, shit. Okay. I'm gonna just scoot over. Hey, what's up? I love her. Susie. I'm gonna say it's Susie and not Sussy, because that seems weird. Hey, you. Me? Yeah, you. Can you do me a favor? Uh, it depends on the favor. What? You can't just agree to doing a favor. I don't even know who you are. I'm Susie Rabbit. Can you do me a favor? I... You're the best, thanks. I need you to help me break into this bank. <laughs> uh, I will not. Huh? Dude, you're already agreed to do it. You already agreed to do it. I don't appreciate you lying to me. You said you'd do me a favor. You should keep your word. I didn't agree to do the favor. Oh, so now you're changing the story. Whatever, dude. Just leave me alone. Oh no! We've ruined it with Susie Rabbit! Can we try again? Excuse me, Susie Rabbit? She's giving us a silent treatment. Look at her little stink face! I love it. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, I know. They should call you the Flake. Hi! Because you always flake on your promises. I'm gonna have to break in on my own now. I don't think that's a good idea. Okay, I didn't ask. Why are you breaking in anyway? Bit nosy for someone who doesn't want to help. Being nosy is my job. Fine. I don't have any ID, so I can't get into my vault. Oh. You only want to steal things that belong to you? Yeah. Surely there's another way of getting them. Oh, so now you want to help. Typical. I just mean breaking in sounds dangerous. You could get hurt. I heard all those banks are booby-trapped. Why? So people don't break in. What? What's wrong with breaking in? Well, the point of a bank is to keep valuables safe. If people can break in, it kind of defeats the purpose of a bank. I'm starting to get it. Ugh, that's so annoying. I have a piece of evidence that is vital to the missing hats case. Wait, what? I could really use that. Ah, so you'll help me. Hmm, I really shouldn't. I want to know who that little spider is crawling around behind us. I don't- my camera might have been in the way. What kind of evidence? It's a map. I think it might lead to where the hats are hidden. I found it this morning, right after the hats were stolen. It has big letters on it that says, Crime Scene Map. Eat after reading. <laughs> I didn't eat it, obviously. Well, that's good to hear. Maybe there's another way to get into your vault. Mind if I ask you some questions? Great. The vault. So, let's brainstorm ideas to get into the vault. Oh, sure. What about? We kick the bank teller? What? Absolutely not. I'm joking, obviously. Were you? No, I was not. Okay, new idea. We'll find your ID. I'm gonna be honest with you, detective. What is it? I'm pretty sure my ID is in the bank vault. <laughs> oh, that's a conundrum. Yeah. But there's a silver lining. We live in a town filled with outlaws. I don't live here. Surely one of the outlaws will know how to make a fake ID. Isn't that against the rules? What rules? The bank rules? It's my vault. What are they going to do? Maybe for my own possessions? Suppose not. Great. So it's settled. You'll get me a fake ID. What? No. Suit yourself. Theoretically, if I were to help. Oh, look at the worms and the... Oh, that's fun. Uh, yes. Thank you, detective. I'll wait right here. Okay. Mind if I ask you some questions? That's what the map. How'd you find the map? About that vital piece of evidence, the map. What about it? What can you tell me about it? Do you remember what it had on it? It was a map of the graveyard, I think. Ooh, okay. Oh, that's helpful. Eh, barely helpful. The graveyard is massive. You'd be looking forever without some guide to tell you where to go. Besides, it's super haunted up there. I wouldn't want to spend too long looking around. It's haunted? That's what the rumors say. Do you remember anything else about the map? Nah, not really. Listen, if you can help me get into my vault, it's all yours. That sound like a good deal? I'll do my best. Mind if I ask you some questions? 
Okay, nothing more. Goodbye, Susie Rabbit. Okay, what's her motive for stealing the hats? Maybe she misplaced the hats in the vault. I don't know. <laughs> Needs fake ID. Yikes. Okay, great. Short stature, shorter temper. Ethical criminal. Not a big believer in rules. Okay, we have similar energy, her and I. Open, open. Okay, so we need a fake ID. Oops. Oh wait, hold on, this is what I want to look at. Hi, little buddy. Hi, little guy. Can I ask you some questions? Have you seen any hats around here? Yeah, you know where I could find a bunch of stolen hats? Hmm, not talking, eh? Oh man, look at this outfit, look at this look. Oh my god. I want to talk to the wormies, though. Why can't I talk to the worms? They're like second-class freaking citizens. They don't wear clothes. They work all the menial jobs. Craig, if you're here from the Evil Secret Society, please leave me alone. I'm not interested in joining. What's the Evil Secret Society? Nice try. I know the society's tricks. Well, I'm actually here from the Frog Detective Solving Crime Solving Agency. Oh yeah, where are your credentials? Uh, well, I'm a detective and a frog, and I'm here to solve a mystery slash possible crime. Do you have any identification? It's a good question. Just my face. Do you have any identification? No, but I'm Craig. Everybody knows me. I wouldn't normally believe you, but your appearance does seem to match what you're saying. But, uh, but just know, I don't trust you. I wouldn't expect you to. We just met. Detective, I'm someone that is regularly messed with. There are many different societies around here, and they all want me to join. But I'm a lone ranger. I have no interest in being a part of these secret societies. What types of secret societies are there? For starters, you've got the naughty little guys. They've been after me for years. Naughty little guys is good. The posties are another one. They go around delivering mail. Cute! I feel like the worms are posties. I'm not sure that's a secret society. I think it's more of a public service. Then why can't we open everyone's mail? Not so public, if you ask me. <laughs> open your eyes. Another society is the Ghost Spotters League. Fun. Oh, wait, I think I've heard of them. Yes, despite being a secret society, they're quite well known. To be honest with you, I said earlier that I wasn't interested in being part of any societies, but that's only half true. Oh? The Ghost Spotters League is really exclusive, and I'm kind of bummed they never tried to recruit me. Are you a keen ghost spotter? Well, that might be the problem. <clears throat> to be inducted into the league, you need to have spotted a ghost. And you haven't seen any. Correct. I don't know why I'm telling you all this. You could be anyone. I'm the detective. The compelling disguise, I'll give you that. Do you know much about ghosts? Well, I solved a mystery involving one. The mystery of the haunted island. Although, it wasn't haunted in the end. So, no. Could have saved us both and just said no. Sorry. No, I don't know much about ghosts. Can I ask you some questions? Everybody always wants information from me. Okay. Ghost Spotters League, Secret Societies. We'll just start with the Ghost Spotters League. Okay. How close are you to spotting a ghost? What kind of question is that? How am I supposed to know? Ghosts aren't cool bugs, detective. You can't just spot them out and about. How does it work, then? Well, the requirements are pretty flexible. Basically, the society just needs a credible ghost sighting story or tangible proof of a ghost, like a photo. Okay. Do ghosts show up in photos? It depends, but yeah. The saloon has a bunch of photos, but I don't want to send in the wrong one and embarrass myself. I don't know which ones are of ghosts and which ones are just normal photos. Hmm, sounds like a bit of a puzzle. I love puzzles! They're so strict. If I get my application denied three times, I'm banned from ever applying again. I'm on my second strike. What did you send in the first two times? I faked the first two sightings. I dressed up as a ghost and ran really fast and looked like a blur in the photograph. They're so clever that they figured me out right away. That's how I know they're the real deal. I like your creativity, though. Thanks. Say, if you happen to stop by the saloon, could you take a look and see if you could tell which of the photo ha photos has a ghost in it? I don't really care about actually spotting a ghost myself. I just want to be a part of the society. Ugh, relatable. I suppose that's fair enough. Sure, if I have time, I'll take a look. Thanks. Okay, secret societies. Beep, boop, boop. I don't suppose there's a secret society that is dedicated to stealing hats. Eh, not that I'm aware of. But that's the thing, detective. These societies run deep. I've barely scratched the surface of what there is to know. 
They run everything. Everywhere you've been, anything you've ever done, it's all dictated by the secret societies. Surely that can't be true. You'd think not, but it is true. How do you know it's true? I'm part of several forums dedicated to uncovering the truth. Is it a secret forum? What? Haha, <laughs> like, is the forum also a secret society? Never thought of that. I'll have to look into it. No, I'm just joking. I don't see how you can joke about something like this. Secret societies run everything. Craig, I just don't think that's true. Oh yeah? What ev evidence do you have that it's not true? None, I suppose. Just a lack of evidence of it being true. I would say it's more like a lack of evidence of it not being true. Agree to disagree. I'll agree to be right, and you agree to be wrong. Okay, sure. Great. <laughs> See you later, Craig. This has been an exhausting conversation. Ah, oh, but you look so good. You look so good. I mean, coffee. Okay. Want a membership? Hat stealing. What? Oh, potentially wants membership. Either conspiracy theorist or knows way more about the world than me. Does not buy the detective disguise. Drat. Uh, just wants to be a part of something. Hey, I get it. I like Craig, despite the fact that he's exhausting. Okay. That doesn't seem like the saloon. Oh my god, everyone's so cute. Oh, he's like Peyton. This is the saloon for sure. Oh, there's the graveyard. Who's over here? Let's skate up there. Oh, there's a worm. Oh no, it's a snake. Oops. You're camping. What are you doing, my guy? Sherman, wow, look at you. Huh? Your jumper, your vacant smile. Those piercing eyes. Are you a model? Ooh, I certainly am. Maybe it's time to start modeling. Maybe. Or maybe it's time to solve a mystery. Haha, <laughs> yeah. Actually, I don't know what you mean. <laughs> I'm a detective. Ah. Is there a problem? I don't want any trouble. I'm an outlaw, you see. My name is Sherman. Authority and I don't always see eye to eye. I have no authority at all. <laughs> you have the authority to steal my heart. Oh my god, cute. Love story. I'm going to do a frog detective uh, fan fiction now. Between frog detective and Sherman. Because of your good looks. It's just a little joke. Not about your looks. You look great. I, it was like, you could, like, steal my heart because you're so dashing. Hi, you're too kind. Anyway, how can I help you, detective? I'm here about the missing hats. The missing hearts? You've stolen them! Sorry, just joking. Maybe that's a time for my killer sense of humor. The hats, right? Mine was stolen. Do you have any leads? Who done it? That's what I'm here to figure out. Did you see anything suspicious over the last couple days? Haha, <laughs> just kidding. Unless... <laughs> I looked in a mirror, haha. I'm suspicious looking because I'm an outlaw. Oh, haha. I do love a dark suit. This dark blue suit. Oh my god, I'd wear that in a second. Hmm. Well, honestly, I'm a bit confused about how this new sheriff came into the picture. My fellow out outlaw, Rhonda Dynamite, was working up the courage to ask to be the new sheriff. Clearly, she didn't get the courage in time because this new guy, Mason Mole, wandered in like he owns the place. You don't like him? Oh, don't get me wrong. He's okay. I just don't know why he wants to be the sheriff. Cowboy County has always been a lawless land. That's the way we like it. Everybody respects and understands each other here, so I thought it would be better if the sheriff was one of us. Not saying he'll do a bad job or anything, but I just hope he keeps the county as, a, as kind as it ever was. Have you spoken to him much? He's barely said two words the whole time he's been here. I assume he's shy, so I'll give him time to settle in. But I don't know. It can be strange when someone new comes into your community. I really want to be as welcoming as possible, but I have a few concerns. Do you mind if I ask you some questions about the case? Uh, Sheriff Mason Mole. I bet this guy can make us a fake ID. Oh, look at this koala on the balcony. We have to say hi to them. Okay. Why are you suspicious of Mason Mole? It's not like me to be suspicious, really. You know me. I do not. Not yet. Sherman winks. <laughs> Dude, I'm I ship it. I want it to happen. Ooh, a suit like velvet, yeah. I just want I think it'd be fun to write a fan fiction. 
Anyway, I just don't really understand his motives. Why is he here? Hmm, I'm not sure. Obviously, I wouldn't trust Lobster Cop's judgment, but this new guy is so quiet and shady. You even know what job he did before this? Ooh, Gold Gregory! Thank you for 15 months, several years of riveting content absu. <laughs> Thank you, Gold Gregory. I appreciate the support. Okay, do you even know what job he did before this? I have no idea. Do you know? Nope. Figures. Do you mind if I ask you some questions about the case? All right, the mine. Any reason you're hanging out by the mines? Well, yeah. I heard there's gold in there. Wow. I really like gold. I don't mean to sound insensitive, but I want to ask. Is it a thing for sloths to like gold? Why do you ask? My friend Martin is a sloth and also loves gold. He made a crown out of it. Sounds heavy. <laughs> yeah. Well, I haven't really thought about it before, but yes, I think sloths do like gold. But then again, who doesn't? I find it doesn't suit my complexion. I also am a much more of a silver gal. I think anything would suit your complexion. But anyway, I've been trying to get into the mine, but it's all blocked up. Dang, have you tried exploding it with dynamite? What? No, that sounds really dangerous. I was thinking more the long, along the lines of a pickaxe. Oh, that would probably be better, yeah. Okay, I gotta get a pickaxe. If you have one, I could trade you for uh, a shovel. I'll think about it. Do you mind if I ask you some questions about the case? I bet we'll need a shovel for the graveyard. My, my guess. Okay, nothing right now. Catch you later. Kiss goodbye. Okay. Sherman. I don't know. I found it difficult to pay attention. Those eyes. <laughs> oh, that's great. Sherman, you make me blush. So funny, so cool. No, I refuse to be charmed. This is a suspect. Oh, I love it. Okay. Boon down there. Ooh, good butt on Sherman. All right, let's go. Oh, there's another bug. A little bug. You're cutie. Your little tarantula got a billion eyes. I love the little bugs. I want to ask them questions. Ooh, flower. There's lobster cop. Oh, there's like a map here. Ah, great. I can use this to orient myself if I get lost in this needlessly large town. That's very funny. I love this little dude. That's me. The outfit, everything. We gotta talk to this guy. That's me. Okay, great. I found a, a map. I found a freaking map. Rhonda Dynamite! That's me! They come from far and wide to face off with the powerful Rhonda Dynamite. Rhonda Dynamite? That's me! Ready, to, ready your weapon, frog. It's time for us to do battle. I do not have a weapon and I'm not super interested in doing battle. Then why are you here to face me? This is my land, frog. You cannot just waltz in here and expect to take it. Your land? You own the scooter barn? No, but I loiter here every day. Everybody knows this. Where have you been? Do you live under a rock, frog? I thought a lily pad might be more suitable. Ha! I live at 100 Skeleton Street, Slippery Pond. <laughs> Did you just give me your full address? Yes. You literally just met me. Don't give your full address to strangers. Why not? How else are you going to know where I live? You have a great point. <laughs> okay. Oh! The detective does not have a great point. Grace! Grace is here! Did not give your address out to strangers. I'm of the mind that what is your, what's a stranger going to do to your address? Just going to put that out there. What's a stranger going to do with your address? I don't know. I don't know. What's the name of that Adult Swim Noir spy game? I have no idea. Unless your house is super cool and you're mega rich, then tell people where you live. Because how else are you? Are they going to know you live in a mansion? Oh, I should have done her accent. I could try. No. Okay. Even that, I can't do it. Just show them a photo. Don't give them your address. Man, my Australian has really gone to shit. Not that it was ever good, but... Thanks for playing. I'll leave you to it. Damn, I really can't do it anymore. Grace Bruxna? Oh, Matt's here. Hi, Matt. Anyway, I'm not sure why you're trying to fight me. Would you like me to leave? Nah, I'm enjoying having some company. Matt, isn't this me? Matt, she's me. Don't you agree? 
She's me, Rhonda Dynamite. So what do you do? Hmm. What do you do as a job? Oh, I'm a detective. I'm here to solve the case of the missing hats. Just in time. When you find the culprit, bring him here. I'll beat him up. See, that's me. What? What, Matt? I am not. I am human, technically. Wow, look at these emotes, Hugh boy. That's fun. Anyway, what? No. Give him a taste of these fists. Kick him in the nose. Matt, that's me. Tie their shoes together and trip them up. Tell them they're ugly. <laughs> Please, no! I'm an outlaw, detective. I hate when people do the wrong thing. That's the opposite of an outlaw. Huh. You're right. I think this life isn't for me anymore. You think so? To be honest with you, detective, I was meaning to apply for the sheriff position. Oh, it was filled just before I got here. Yeah, I know. By some rando. His name is Mason Mole. I'm sure Lobster Cop wouldn't have given the job to just anyone. He must be very qualified. Doesn't mean he's not a rando. I suppose not. Is this game related to Frog Fractions? Um, unfortunately, no. That game is wild. I'm just gonna go do a little pause about Frog Fractions to say that when I was working at Giant Bob and we were in the office, I told Vinny and everybody else like I've, I'd never played Frog Fractions before and I didn't know what it was. And they were like, okay, you have to play Frog Fractions. And I sat at my desk that afternoon and played the entirety of Frog Fractions. Wild game. <laughs> I suppose not. What makes you want to be the sheriff? I'm a natural leader. I run the outlaw group with class and style, and I love to help others. Dude, she's me! Got a problem that needs solving? I'm your girl! Frog Detective is Alex Navarro. I can see it. <laughs> Matt says, the tell him your ugly line convinced me. Yeah, it's you. Yeah. Okay. And I'm tough. No one's gonna mess with me. Wow, you sound like a great fit for the job. I think so too, but it's too late now. Not necessarily. You could always talk to Mason Mole, show him your expertise. Maybe you could be co-sheriffs. That's a great idea. Do you mind if I question you about the case I'm working on? Stop being the sheriff. Okay. Coffee sip. How do you intend to become the sheriff? By force. Fun. I will simply beat up Mason Mole. What? You can't do that. Yes, I can. I'm Rhonda Dynamite. The rules don't apply to me. What did Mason Mole ever do to you? I don't know, but he's shifty. Just don't trust his face. Please don't take the role by force. Have you tried submitting a resume? A resume, you say? Like, a list of my skills and expertise? Yeah, I think that would be a better option than beating up Sheriff Mason Mole. Less fun, though. Hmm. I don't really have the writing supplies for making a resume. If I had paper and stuff, I could probably manage it. I can give you the writing supplies, just please don't beat up the sheriff. Fine, fine. I was just thinking about it. Do you mind if I question you about the case I'm working on? Your job. What kind of work do you do? Well, detective. I'd love to tell you, but I need to know I can trust you. Oh, I understand. If you're worried about me telling on you, I won't tell. My only concern today is the mystery of the missing hats. If you stole the hats, I will totally tell on you, though. That's reasonable. Well, okay then. I'm a mouse of many skills. I specialize in forgery and fraud. Wow, sounds intense. It's mostly a lot of printing stuff out. I can forge all types of things. Important documents, birth certificates, IDs, you name it. Could you forge a certificate that says number one best detective? Why? No reason. I'm just joking. Pretend I didn't say that. <laughs> okay. You mind if I question you about the case I'm working on? Um, she needs to make me an ID. She needs to forge me a freaking ID. Oh, look how close we are to her. I love Rhonda Dynamite so much. Motive. I honestly don't think she would need a motive to steal the hats. Just a hunch, though. To write a resume, learn some nonviolent conflict resolution skills. Wants to fight me? No way. She wants to fight everybody. Knows my full address. Dreams of being the sheriff. Okay, but she can make an ID. How do I get her to make an ID? I bet I need to bring her the papers first, and then she'll make an ID. Bunch of awards up there. Okay. Checking out everything in town. Ooh, cute. Okay, so there's all the suspects. Ooh, gloves. Oh, these could come in handy. Haha, <laughs> get it? Handy. Gloves. Excuse me. Yes, Sheriff? Those are evidence. Evidence of what? 
crime. Oh, I'll leave them here. No. No? Take them. Aren't they evidence? Not yet. Cool. <laughs> Great. I got gloves. I got gloves. What do I do with them? I love his little picture of himself. Like, I love this. Look at that. Look at him. Little dude. Hey, buddy. Can I open this cabinet? What's behind the curtain? I bet it's all the hats. I bet Monty Mole stole all the hats. He's got a hat. He, I bet he did it. Howdy, Sheriff Mason Mole. Hello. How's your new position here? What? The job. Are you enjoying being the sheriff? Yes. That's great. I'm sure you'll fit right in. Okay. You know, you look really familiar. Have I seen you around before? No. Hmm, strange. You must have a familiar face. No. <laughs> You're probably right. My memory plays tricks on me all the time. Yes. So, how'd you meet Lobster Cop? Cool. You've known each other since school? That's wild. You must be close. Yes. Lobster Cop is pretty hard to please. He must think highly of you to suggest you as the new sheriff. Yes. That's nice, isn't it? To have a friend who thinks the world of you? Yep. What were you doing before this? Before? Before you became sheriff. Did you have a different job? Yes. What was it? I helped. Helped? I helped out. Helped out who? With what? Not important. Sorry, I didn't mean to pry. <laughs> there I go again being nosy. Goodbye. Oh, okay, see ya. I'm telling you, he stole the hats. He's the only one with the hats. We stole the hats. Mason Mole. Motive? Wanted to be the only person in town with a hat. Needs to be left alone, it seems. Notes. A fellow of few words. Previous job? Helped out. Cute. I love Mason Mole. Okay, we got gloves out of that, though, so that's good. Oh, look at this guy. I love this dude. I love this little dude. I love him. Okay, great. So we need paper and pencil. Maybe the store will have some. Look at these drawings! Look at these! They're so cute! Look at this! That's amazing. What's up, buddy? Ooh, paper and pencil? Okay. Good afternoon. Welcome to Cowboy County General Store. My name is Wendy. She's gonna have an accent. We have a wide range of general goods for purchase. Hi, I'm the detective. Unfortunately, at this time, we don't stock any gear for detective work. Oh, I don't need anything. Oh. Um. Well, please feel free to browse our expansive selection. I'm sure you will find what you need. Oh, no thank you. We have a wide range of general goods for purchase. Yes. Do you need a specific item that isn't in stock? We process special orders at no extra cost to the customer. I don't really need anything. Special orders have an average two-day turnaround. That's a great turnaround. It's one of our many great policies. Such as? We are proud to offer our customers a satisfaction guarantee on all purchases. What is a satisfaction guarantee? We can guarantee that you will be either satisfied or dissatisfied with your purchase. What happens if I'm dissatisfied? Well, that falls within our satisfaction guarantee. So I can get a refund? The satisfaction guarantees only guarantees a range of satisfaction from dissatisfied to satisfied. If your feeling towards the product doesn't fall within that range, you are entitled to a refund. Ah, uh, that clears it up, thanks. Anyway, I'm actually here to ask some questions about the case. Oh, unfortunately, we don't have any cases in stock at this time. It's fun. The mystery, I mean. Uh, oops, I missed that. Stealing is not permitted at Cowboy County General Store. It's not permitted anywhere, really. To be clear, I am not here to purchase or steal any items from your store. I am here on official business to solve the mystery of the stolen hats here in Cowboy County. Rat. It would have been a lot easier for me if you said that in the first place. I feel like I just spent so much time explaining the policies and values of my store. A bit embarrassing for me, really. Like, maybe in the future just tell people what you're here for? Yes, absolutely right. I'm not good at communicating quickly. I get easily swept up in conversation. Sorry. It's fine. I just feel a bit self-conscious. No, no, you did great. I learned a lot about your store policies. I'm glad to hear that. It hasn't been easy taking over the shop. You seem like an old hand at it. Ha! That's great. I'm not at all. 
I've only been running the shop for seven months. Oh, cool. Can I ask you some questions? New job. Girl, you have paper? You started the running the shop. How's it all going? I wish I could say I'm nailing it, but honestly, it doesn't feel like that most of the time. That's no good. The shop has been in my family for generations. I thought in my hands it would be the best it's ever been, but it's just kind of the same. The same is good. At least it's not worse than it was. I suppose you're right. Is there anything that would boost your confidence? Well, there is one thing. What is it? Do you see these portraits on the wall? They're lovely. Every shop owner in my family has had a beautiful portrait created for them. Except for me. Mine is just a silly photo. It's a nice photo. Yeah, sure. Oh, yeah, sure. But it's not the same. I haven't got the slightest idea how I'm supposed to get someone to create a beautiful portrait. I don't even know who painted those ones. Have you tried painting one yourself? With what time? And besides, art was never my strong suit. Maybe you could paint it for me. Ha, huh, I wish. Not much of a painter. That'd be so fun, though. Well, if you find anyone that wants to paint me, can you let me know? How are they supposed to know if they want to paint you if they can't see you? Hmm. Here, take this photo of me. Ha, <laughs> okay, kind of weird. What's weird? Just carry around a photo of you on the off chance that I find a painter who could paint you a portrait? I don't think that's weird. Okay, sorry. Okay, great. There was someone painting in the saloon. I saw them through the window. Can I ask you some questions? Okay, no more questions. See you later. Sorry, I'm checking. Okay. 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 Oh, Wendy. Motive. Steal the hats in town to, and sell them back to the town. The perfect crime. She needs her portrait painted. Notes. Seven months in the biz, rehearsed and formal, yet professional and warm. I'm now carrying around a photo of her, and nobody thinks that's weird, especially not me. All right, see you later, Wendy. Hopefully I'll get your photo done. Oh, someone's calling me. I'm gonna answer it. Hold on. Don't mind me.
Okay, I'm coming back. Everybody ready? Did I get a stretch check? What's going on? I definitely got a hydration check. Okay, hold on, everybody. Hold on. Boop. I'm back. Okay, let me check. I got a hydration check from Always Be Clothing. Always Be Clothing. What do you what do what do we, what do you want me to sip on? What do you think? I got a little bit of coffee left. I got my lime, Topo Chico. Hydration was for all the voice acting I did. And thank you so much. And I have a little bit of water left in my Twitch jug. What do you think, Always Be Clothing? I could also do dealer's choice. Roach yourself with some lime. Nice. That's what I was hoping you'd say. Ooh, that had a good crack to it. Oh, I love seltzer. I love sodas. Wow, my seltzer got all over my screen. Okay, let me just wipe this. Close. Hey, okay. Resume. Um, okay. Ooh, horseshoe. Yeah, let's head on in there. You're a painter, big panda. Oh, look at this guy. Oh, look at this art. Oh, this is amazing. Oh, look at you. Hubba hubba ding ding. What kind of animal do you think she is? That nose, is that like a koala? I bet she's a koala. Although koalas have different ears, do they? I bet she'll say, oh, I feel so short. All right, let's, that's a koala. That's a koala. <sighs> hydration checks are almost single-handedly responsible for my daily hydration. <laughs> Oh, a bat! Oh, that's great. Sit and ponder, detective. Is this theft a bad thing? Perhaps. But who are we to determine good and bad? Ooh, Dusty. He's a stoner, I see. A stolen hat is a message. Do not leave your- let yourself be shielded. The light of the sun holds more answers than we think. Answers to what? Questions? What questions? Why is it so bright out here? How do I charge the solar-powered bobblehead? And more, I'm certain of it. We spend so much time focused on how to find the missing hats, and no time considering why we had them in the first place. I would assume for sun protection? Protection? From the sun? What harm does the sun pose to us? Well, the sun can be bad for your skin. If I stay in the sun too long, my skin goes all crispy. I turn into a crispy fried snack. Is being crispy wrong, detective? It's wrong for me. Who are we to determine wrong and right? Well, I'm the frog detective. And I'm just a lowly poet. Lonely poet, excuse me. Trying to make sense of the world. It's nice to meet you. And you. You sure think a lot about things, huh? I try. But I think I get it wrong a lot of the time. Who are we to determine wrong and right? Haha. <laughs> Uh-huh. If you don't mind me saying... Sorry, the seltzer's giving me the burps. Um, you don't look too much like a cowboy. <laughs> oh, I'm no cowboy. I'm Dusty. I'm an outlaw slash poet. I'm trying to compose the perfect cowboy poem. I believe Grace wrote this. I mean, I'm sure Tom also... I, I don't know exactly how they divvy up duties. But she definitely, I believe, is... The one writing a lot of this. Um, it's taking forever. I'm no good at this. But you have so much to say! Yes. But when I write it down, it gets so muddled. Nothing comes out right. I'm sure it sounds great. It doesn't. I'm ashamed to even show anyone. Well, you can show me. I won't judge. Hmm, okay. Ahem. Okay, poetry time. A cowboy's life is so much fun. Sitting around on your bum. Ride a scooter, sing a tune, say yee-haw in the afternoon. The sun is bright, their smiles shine brighter when waving at this lonely rider. I give a nod and smile back too, yet I wish I could be someone new. An outlaw's life is not for me, I want to ride and be carefree. Instead, I sit and write stuff down, not fitting in with this cowboy town. That's my poem. I liked it. It's beautiful. I would say that's the perfect cowboy poem. Thanks, but I think I want to write a new one. 
Do you mind if I ask you some questions about the case? Go ahead. Perfect cowboy poem. Do you have paper and pencil? Do you need help workshopping a perfect cowboy poem? I would love that. Nobody really gets me, you know? Totally. I'll show you what I have so far, and maybe you can help me finish it? Sure. Ahem. I saw a cowboy eat a snack. A bowl of cereal. Um. Bowl of cereal. Near the tracks. Near the tracks. Nice. I saw a cowboy eat a snack. A bowl of cereal near the tracks. He finished quickly, smart and sure. Then he headed off. Um. To get some more. Sure. Store. Board. Finish quickly, smart and sure that it headed off towards the store. Headed off towards the store. We'll do that one. Towards the store. He finished quickly, smart and sure, then headed off towards the store. But just ahead, to his shock, a newly built office block, there was Nessie from the lock. He saw a goblin on a rock. I'm going to say newly built office block, you know. Sort of like society's advancing and it's no longer an outlaw. So the newly built office block. Um, okay, sure. But just ahead, to his shock, a newly built office block. He waddled over, concentrated face, only to discover. Tumbleweed in its place. Nothing there, just empty space. The thing had gone without a trace. Uh, A tumbleweed in its place. Cowboy. Ooh, plot twist. Okay. <laughs> He waddled over, concentrated face, only to discover a tumbleweed in its place. The cowboy smiled and shook his head, and off he went back to bed, feeling like an egghead to tell his friend Ned. Tell his friend Ned. The cowboy smiled and shook his head, and off he went to tell his friend Ned. Aha! It's perfect! The perfect poem! I can't wait to recite it in front of a crowd! Thank you from the bottom of my heart, detective. It wasn't a problem at all. I had lots of fun. I feel like I understand cowboy life a bit better now. Maybe one day, I'll feel confident enough to become one myself. I wish you the best of luck. Thanks. Hey, since I've written the perfect poem, I don't need my writing supplies anymore. Yay! Great. Sure and store rhyme way better in Aussie English. I can see it. Really? You don't want to write any more poems? No, no, I do. But every time I start a new project, I like to use new tools so I don't take the energy of the old poem with me. Sounds expensive. Yeah. Anyway, take them. Yay, we can write a resume now. Resume time. Okay. Writing set. Great. Just. I'm gonna head right over there and give her the writing set. Needs just someone to talk to, I think. <laughs> uh, poet, poet, icon, legend, friend. Longs to live the cowboy life. Not great at budgeting. That's funny. Alright, see you later, buddy. See if I can parkour. Whoops. Oopsies. Alright, I got something for you. Do you mind if I question you about the case I'm working on? Give item. Writing supplies. I have some writing supplies right here. Oh, how'd you get those so quickly? I helped to compose a beautiful poem. Sounds boring. See, she's me. Thanks for getting those writing supplies for me. I appreciate it. If there's anything I can do for you, let me know. I have a bunch of skills. I wish I had a bunch of skills. We can't all be Rhonda Dynamite. Do you mind if I question you about the case I'm working on? Fake ID for Susie. You mentioned you can forge identification, right? I sure can. I was wondering if you could help me out. Sure. Anything for my friend, the detective. Amazing. I need to get a fake ID made for Susie. Can you help? Can do. Did you want to know what it's for? Nope. I'm not interested in other people's business. I'll get that ready for you in a jiffy. I love that. Frog Detective 3. Alright. All done. Anything I can help you with? I think I'm good for now. Thanks so much. No worries, partner. Cool. You got fake ID. Okay, no more writing set, but I do have an ID. We did it. Oops. I have something for you. 
Mind if I ask you some questions? Give item. We're doing it, everyone. Okay, so before I give you this, just know that this makes me very uncomfortable. But I know how important it is for me to solve this case and impress Lobster Cop. So, here's your fake ID. Yes! This rules. It looks so realistic. I don't think it looks realistic at all, but it should be enough to get you in. Okay, I'll be right back. We're gonna get a map. It worked. Thanks, detective. I'll be sure to tell everyone I know about how you helped me. Oh, uh, no, that's okay. You don't need to tell anyone. Hear ye, hear ye. The detective helped me break into a bank. No, no. They should call you the burglar. I don't want to be called that. Fine, fine. Here, I got the map out for you. Yay! Map. Rhonda knows all about plausible deniability. Exactly. And I got my real ID out, so I won't be breaking the rules anymore. Oh, I'm glad to hear it. Thanks for the map. I think it'll be a big help. Yay! See you later, Susie. Map. Check. All right. See you later, bud. Ooh, Mayor Frank. Thank you for subscribing. Wow, two months. Okay. Let me in. I'm gonna talk to you. Okay. Pistol. Well, if it isn't the frog of the hour. Well, maybe the frog of one and a half hours, if we're being generous. 45 minutes if you're speedy. Is that- are they, like, making a joke about how long the games are? I'm curious. Haha, <laughs> well, you get what I mean. It's good to see you, detective. Have we met? Not in person, no. I've sent you several emails asking to illustrate your frog blog. Oh, you must be Pistol. That's me. Finest artist in all of Cowboy County and potentially the world. Matt, this is you. Is Matt still here? Yes, you mentioned that many times in your emails. It's a shame we haven't been able to work together. Your stories come to me so visually. I'd love to illustrate them. I'd love that too. Unfortunately, I do not have a million money to pay you with. It's actually two million money. Yes, yes, sorry. No matter, detective. Simply keep saving up and you will be able to afford my work one day. I'm here and true. Yeah, I'll do that. Are you working on something at the moment? Yes, my finest piece yet. It's an, uh, well, you see, it's clearly, uh, who am I kidding, detective? I've lost my artistic touch. Oh, I'm sure it's just a bit of creative block. Creative block? No, I clicked on a banner on cyberspace and it took me to a strange website. What did the banner say? Click here for an epic video of a worm who is buff. You were right to click it. When it loaded, it was just a scary picture of a witch. It made a loud cracking noise, and the screen just said, You just got a curse on you from this website. Ever since then, I've lost my artistic talents. Well, that's terrible. When did that happen? Earlier today. I don't mean to doubt you, but are you sure it wasn't just a prank? A prank? Well, I don't think so. That witch was really scary, and I'm normally very brave. Did the website have any specifics about the curse? No. Well, how do you know the curse is on your artistic talents? It's been three hours and I haven't found my latest muse. A muse? You know, a subject that piques my interest. Every day I find one and today I haven't seen anything that inspires me. Hmm, can I ask you some questions? Give picture for muse. A muse. You mentioned needing a muse. I'm cursed to never have one. Well, it's only been a few hours. One might show up. I doubt it. I think this is the end of my painting career. Well, don't give up now. What if I could help you find a muse? You want to help me? I would love to. Let me think. Maybe you could draw me? I have no interest in drawing you. It's understandable. Hmm. If you can find me a photograph of something compelling to draw, I would be very grateful. But I think it might be too much of a challenge. Well, nothing's too much of a challenge for me. What about putting on a hat? No comment. <laughs> Your head is a weird shape. I know this. I'll get to work finding a photograph for you to draw. Thank you, detective. I wish you the best of luck. We have that photograph. Okay. Fair pick. 
Oh, I think behind you, that's that feels like chicory. This is definitely a chicory reference. It's got the brush and the house. That's chicory. That's cute. Oh, can I see? Here you go. Wow, this is beautiful. Is this Wendy from the store? Sure is. It would be my absolute pleasure to paint this. I did it. What? I lifted the witch's curse. I mean, I guess. Seems like it was probably a prank. Oh, I thought you said it was scary. I don't think I said that. I'm really brave. Doesn't seem like something I'd say. Right, I must be mistaken. It's okay, we all make mistakes. Well, not me so much. So, will this work as your new muse? Absolutely! Stay right there! I'm gonna paint it immediately. Hmm, too real, Matt says. <laughs> wow, he really is painting. Oh, it's amazing! <sighs> Sorry, I have some seltzer. And voila! That's French. Wow, it's beautiful. Thank you, I'm so proud of it. What are you gonna do with it now? Oh, this is just a warm-up for me. You can keep this portrait if you'd like. Really? Yeah, or throw it out. I don't mind. I'm just happy I got my talent back. The talent was inside you all along. No, it wasn't. Okay. How are we gonna get a pickaxe, you think? Okay. Portrait! We have gloves. Who's gonna need the gloves, I wonder? Maybe hats are hard to paint? That's a fun motive. Amuse! Ugh. And some internet safety lessons. That's fun. Two million money is a small price to pay for art. Cursed, allegedly. Alright, I'll see you later, buddy. Hello, Lady Bat. Bonnie. Afternoon, detective. What can I get for you? Oh, nothing for me, thanks. I'm here on official business. Ah, I hear about the hats? I must look like a heck of a suspect. Why is that? I'm the only resident of Cowboy County without a hat. Or with a hat. I mean, until now. That's pretty suspicious of me. I could have stolen them all out of jealousy. And cooked them up in my stew. Ha ha! Did you steal the hats and cook them up in your stew? You bet! Oh. Everyone come get your hat stew! Ha ha! I'm just pulling your leg, detective. I'm a jokester. They call me Bantering Bonnie around here. That's a nice nickname. I'm literally joking. Ha 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 ha. They just call me Bonnie. I made that up. Oh, ha <laughs> Now you're getting it. I'm full of jokes. Yeah, I get it now. Um, anyway, you mentioned that you don't wear a hat. Why not? Okay, she doesn't wear a hat. My head is a weird shape. What is that little thing on her head? Ah, pfft. Ha ha, I'm literally joking. My head is completely normal. Oh, ha ha. Mine too. <laughs> I just don't like the way hats look with my dress. Plus, I'm inside most of the time, so why bother? It's not a suspicious thing, LOL. Okay, LOL. Hey, detective. Yeah? I know a lot about Cowboy County. I know it all. Why are we yelling? It's a joke, LOL. Is it okay if I talk normally? Yes, but it was just a joke. Okay. Anyway, as I was saying, my job here isn't just to run the saloon, I'm also a keen historian for Cowboy County. Despite my hilarious nature, I take the role very seriously. For example, did you know that the graveyard up on the hill is gravely haunted? Ha, huh, gravely. Sorry? It's gravely haunted, graveyard? Yeah, that's what I said. This is Abby, what Matt? Okay, I can see it. I have lots of stories and photographs from the Haunted Hill. You can check them out if you want. I sure will, thanks. LOL, I just got the Gravely thing. <laughs> I like her, she's dumb. Can I ask you some questions about this case? Okay, ghost photos. Oh, I see, these are the ghost pictures. Do you know much about the photos here in the saloon? Ha, <laughs> legend has it, they're haunted. I don't know if I believe it, but you're welcome to take a look at them and I'll tell you what I know. Sure, thanks. Can I ask you some questions about this case? Um, hat stew. You didn't actually make a hat stew, did you? Of course not. I am making stew, though. It's the only way I can think of to get regular customers back. Where do they go? Oh, they're around, but I think they got a bit scared off. Ah, do you have bandits in the saloon? LOL, I wish. 
It's worse. Artists. <laughs> Artists? Creative types. That doesn't sound scary at all. No, but... No. You're right. It just changed the vibe. They hang around all day, creating things and finding themselves. I miss the rootin' tootin' cowboy bootin' times we used to have. You're not a fan of art? I like the cartoon section of the newspaper, if that counts. Sure. You just want everyone to party a bit more, right? Right. Get them to stop taking themselves so seriously. Okay, yeah, she's kind of me. <laughs> so your solution is stew? I did just make a, a soup last night. Tomato. Hat stew! I'm joking! Sorry, I'm still learning about jokes. It's just a normal stew, but I'm famous for it around here. Lure them in with hat with the stew. Keep them here with the party atmosphere. Sounds like a great plan. I don't have enough ingredients, though. Sadly, could you buy me some carrots? I'll give you the cash. Sure. Okay. I guess we just gotta go to the store across town and get carrots. Oh, and around these parts, you... There's really delicious edible cactus flowers. Could you, like, collect four for me? Uh, I guess so. I'll give you as much stew as you want in return. Sounds like a good deal. Can I ask you some questions about the case? Nothing right now. Let's check out these ghost photos. Alright. Money. Carrots money. Motive. Practical joke, perhaps? Needs. Carrots and cactus flowers for her stew. Notes. She's joking. Allegedly doesn't wear hats, but appears to be wearing a hat of some sort. Keen Cowboy County historian. Hates creativity. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. This one is standing in front of a graveyard. That's totally haunted behavior. Or maybe she's mourning. Did you ever think of that? And why is she smiling? Yeah, good point. Actually, I know who that is. That's Betsy, one of the first shop owners here in Cowboy County. She sold all the gravestones to the resident of the town. I suspect that's why she has such a big smile on her face. The smile of a clever businesswoman. Not haunted. Not haunted. Okay, thanks. Hmm. Some of these are empty. I'm gonna try the chicory one. Is this a ghost? Ha! Huh, I doubt it. That's a photo of a visitor from about a year ago. They came in and changed all the colors in Cowboy County. It was really weird and messy. Fun, though. That's fun. And they're still alive? I sure hope so. Thanks. <laughs> okay. I like this guy. Oh, I like this one. I hope it's not haunted. Bad luck, detective. This is the most haunted photo of all. Ah, why? Legend has it. This rabbit was a real mean guy. He would put banana peels out for people to trip on and give people wedgies. You name it. Wow, that's horrible. Yeah. Wait. Sorry. I'm thinking of something, someone else. How embarrassing. No, yeah. This guy was a sheriff about 80 years ago. Great sheriff. Loved by all. So, not haunted? Nope. Sorry. All good. Which one's gonna be haunted? I like this guy. You think this is later, Crockett? Later, alligator? This one's super spooky. Surely it has to be a ghost photo. That one's old snappy fresh. He was one of the original gold miners here in town about a hundred years ago. Wow. It's old and creepy. It totally fits the description I'm looking for. Yeah, well, you're out of luck. Oh? Old snappy fresh is still alive. How could he be a ghost? He's still alive? How old is he? It's impolite to ask an old person's age. He's 130 years old. How do you know? I asked. Coincidentally, that's how I learned it was rude to ask someone's age. Okay, thanks. I ask people's ages sometimes. Is it that? Okay, this is the last picture. So, is this a ghost? Who, Mark? Ha 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 ha. No, I wish Mark was a ghost. What? That didn't come out right, lol. That's my ex-husband. Oh, fun. Oh, I'm sorry to hear it. Why did you get divorced? Seems like a pretty personal question. My bad. Ah, ha, ha, I'm just kidding. He's not really my ex-husband. I actually don't know who that is, but I call him Mark. I think the photo is over 50 years old. Take my word for it, though. That is not a haunted photo. It has nice energy. Okay. Great. Oh, shit. Chicory. It's haunted. Which one is it? 
I feel like it's the gator one. I feel like the gator's haunted. But there are still empty picture frames. New ghost photo? <gasps> That's good. That's very good. Ghost photo. Wait, was this one here before? I don't remember. It has such strange energy to it. Yeah, I suddenly feel really chilly when I look at it. He's handsome, yet cold, like he's seen too much. A man who has lived a thousand lives. There's a kindness to him, but also a great mystery. Bonnie? Yes, detective? I think this is a haunted photo. I think you might be well right. May I take it? Please do. I'd be glad to be rid of it. Yay! Haunted photo time. Freaking jump scares. <laughs> Ooh, ghost pick. I love how it, it looks in the little thingy there. Okay. Running along. All right, I did your business. Okay, we gotta get the flowers. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Oh yeah, I have the gloves. Oh great, so that's what the gloves are for. Okay. Okay, I need four of them. like this one on top of the hill here. Jump, jump. Gimme. Got a cactus flower. Two. Okay, great. Woo, I made it. Oh, look at these guys. <gasps> They're so cute. Okay, great. Got another one. I want trophies. Is this game giving me any freaking trophies? That's what I want. Okay. Let's see what's over here. Wah! Can I just go up the wall? Wah! Kind of. Wee! Oh, I can make it so close to the top. Wah! Okay, great. Okay, we just need one more cactus flower. Oh! Skittle cereal, thank you for subscribing. Okay, I'm pretty sure the next one is just by the graveyard. I remember seeing it. Yeah. Okay, cactus flower. Should be enough flowers. Great. I want to see everyone else's notebook and how they decorate it. This one is green, which doesn't feel. Hmm. Vicious. Vicious. Okay, let's bring the picture to What's-Her-Face. Let's buy some carrots for the stew. Where's Mark? Oh, here he is. Is his name Mark? He's the guy who wants to be in the secret society. Can I ask you some questions? Here's a ghost pic for you. So I took a look at all the photos of the saloon. I think this one's definitely a ghost. Oh, really? How do you know? Bonnie helped me out by telling me the stories of all the photos. The rest of the photos seem pretty normal, but this one. This one. Something else. I can just tell. The energy of the photo is very spooky and suspicious. I should have known right away, but I suppose I can only be so smart. I suppose that's true. Is it okay if I take a photocopy of this? That's fine. Hopefully this is enough proof for the Ghost Spotters League to finally let me in. If they don't, it's their loss. Thanks. Hey, can I give you something for your help? Please do. What do you have? A pickaxe. Wow! Why? Sorry? Why do you have a pickaxe? What's it to you? Can I just carry around a pickaxe? Is there something wrong with that? No, I guess not, but usually when people give stuff to me, they have some reason. Oops. Fine. People have give stuff to you often? Yeah, pretty often. Uh, okay, well, I don't really have an explanation for the pickaxe thing. I'm sorry. That's okay, I guess. Just one more mystery that will haunt me for the rest of my life. That one seems really intense. It's just a pickaxe. For you, maybe. Whatever. Thanks for the pickaxe. Cool! We're going, we're going, we're going. Pickaxe. Okay, I'm gonna go to the shop. Boom. Okay. See you later. Got your picture. Can I ask you some questions? Here's a portrait. Also, I need to buy carrots, so you're not gonna believe this. What is it? I managed to get you a portrait. 
Wait, seriously? Yep. Pistol the painter saw your photo and he thought you were the perfect muse. He said that? About me? Sure did. Can I see the painting? Sure, I'll hang it up for you. Cute. Wow, it's great. Pistol's so talented. How much do I owe him? No charge. He was just glad to be free of the witch's cyberspace curse. I'm sorry, what? The whole thing. Don't worry about it. I forgot she was southern. The painting isn't cursed, is it? I don't think so. Well, good. Thanks so much for getting this portrait for me, detective. It was no problem at all. What can I give you for the trouble? Hmm, let me think. Oh, I know. Take this ladder. A whole ladder? That seems quite big. You'll barely notice you're holding it, I promise. If you say so. Thanks. Who needs a ladder? Anyone? Who needs a freaking ladder? All right. Okay. What else do we got in here? Needs to be left alone. We're doing it. Pickaxe, so we can do that. That's easy. And then I'll get a shovel. Okay. We need a meal. Oh, the stew is going to be the meal. Nice. Okay, where do we get carrots from? Needs to be number one. <laughs> That's fun. Well done. Always suspect yourself. Also believe in yourself. Being alive is confusing. <laughs> it's true. It is true. Um, who's got the dang carrots? I haven't really explored, like, this side of town. Or anything over here, I wonder. Carrots, maybe? Whee! That was a freaking well. Cool. Hey, this ladder is perfect for climbing down this well. Lucky me. Great. Okay. No more ladder. I'm in a well. This is fun. Oh, I got a key! People are so careless nowadays. Ever heard of a keychain? I'll take this with me. That's fun. Okay. Key! Okay, let me free. Let me out, let me free. Not only is this ladder perfect for climbing down, I can also use it for climbing up. Lucky me. That's fun. Okay, I'm out. Whee! Y'all see any carrot heads around these parts? Where are my carrots at? I thought the general store would have them, but they did not. Who's got carrots? I have a key now. Carrots in the graveyard? Hmm. Hmm. Alright, I got your, your pickaxe. Okay, questions, pickaxe, here we go. You mentioned you wanted a pickaxe, right? Sure did. I have one here if you'd willing to, be, to trade for the shovel. Oh, I'd love that. Thanks. I could also trade for a nice dinner, just you and I. Oh, I love it. <laughs> I'll take the shovel for now. Offer's open. Maybe after I've solved the case. Okay. Got a shovel. Boom. Hope he didn't do it. <laughs> nice. Same. Okay. Where are we headed to? Where are we going? Hi, bug. Good seeing ya. Okay. Let's talk to Lobster Cop. So, are you finished? Huh? Did you find all the things I asked for? Uh, I'm still looking. Fine. I have the key now. The key fits in here just fine, but I'll wait till Lobster Crab gives me the okay to open it. Ugh, fine. Following the rules. Well, maybe I can give the flowers to our stew friend. Bonnie? Can I ask you some questions? Give flowers. And flower picking great here's what i've collected i'll add them to the stew 
Really wish you told me that the cactus flowers were so hard to get. I nearly pricked myself. Haha, <laughs> did you? That's so funny. Okay, this is me. <laughs> it's not funny at all. It's hilarious. It's not hilarious. That would have hurt. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, it would have. Good thing I managed to find some gloves. Ew, like secondhand gloves? First and second hand. Yep, <laughs> that's funny. Well, thanks for getting them. No problem. Okay. I need carrots. I got carrot money. But where are the carrots? I'm exploring the town. Find the carrots. Who has them? Carrots, carrots, carrots. Oops. Is there anyone I'm missing? Let me check this. Okay. No. Oh, carrots! There's a picture of carrots. There's the saloon. It's this place! Okay, maybe I just have to talk again. Oh yeah, look at all these carrots. Okay, there we go. Can I please buy these carrots? Do you have money? I sure do. Plenty of it. Okay, no need to brag. Take as many as you need. <laughs> Thanks. Yay! We did it. I found out where the carrots are. Part of the mystery, you know? Okay, great. I used the map, and it worked. Okay, sorry, my nose was itchy. I'm sad there's not a horse in town. I want to have an awkward conversation where I'm like, do people try to ride you? And they're like, no. Can I ask you some questions about this case? Uh, carrots. I managed to procure, procure some carrots for your stew. You're the best, detective. How'd you even manage that? I simply went, went next door and bought some. That's so cool. I'll add them to the stew now. Hey, would you look at that? What? You got all the ingredients. I mean, it was a pretty simple task. I'm so proud of you. What's wrong? Feels a little condescending. What's condescending about being proud of you? All I did was pick some flowers and go to the store. That's more than I did, I suppose. Just give me a sec. I'll finish up the stew and give you some. Great, thanks. I reckon I can give this to Lobster Cop. Do whatever you want. Yay! I th You're eating carrots right now. Nice. Do I have everything? Map, key, maybe shovel, and then stew. We're gonna go talk to Lobster Cop. I don't know what else we're missing. It was like a, a weapon. Not a weapon, but like... Oh! I thought he was T-posing, but I think he was just stretching. Okay. So, are you finished? Huh? Did you find all the things I asked for? I think so. Uh, great initiative. Let's take a look. Map of the crime scene. Looks like a map of the graveyard. Well, that could be it, but we'll have to wait and see. A tool capable of aiding in criminal activity. Oh, a shovel, hmm? I think it could be right, detective. A key that will lead us to a clue. That sure looks like a key to me. Any idea where it could lead? A meal for the number one best detective. Ah, thank you very much. As the number one best detective, this stew is clearly for me. Huh, would you look at that? The rookie came through. Nice work, detective. Thank you, lobster cop. You go ahead and check out the crime scene. I'll be right behind. Just some quick business. I can do that. I'll take that meal now, though. It's all yours. Enjoy. <laughs> He's eating the stew. Nice. Okay, great. Let her rip. Open it up. Well, here goes nothing. Okay. Cute. I want to dig up some graves. Also this one. Oh, that seems suspicious. According to the map, this is where the hats are hidden. An odd crime, if you ask me. I wish I could figure out the motive of this crime. It doesn't make any sense. Oh well. I'll just dig these up and hope Lobster Cop has more information. Hats. Hats time. Ugh. Oh. Excuse me. Great, I found the hats. I'm sure everyone will be so relieved to have them back. I'll take them back to town. Sure is nice to have a simple resolution to this mystery. I got lost hats. Okay. I got the hats. Can I go in the church? Repent? No. 
Oh, look at everybody. They're all in town. Okay, big dramatic moment incoming. Here comes the detective now, just in time for the town meeting to begin. The first order of business is poem. Please read a poem. Okay, I know who's going to read it. Hello, I would like to read you my poem. This is my first time performing a poem, and I am nervous. Please do not laugh. I saw a cowboy eat a snack, a bowl of cereal near the tracks. He finished quickly, smart and sure, then he headed off towards the store. But just ahead, to his shock, a newly built office block. He waddled over, concentrated face, only to discover a tumbleweed in his place. The cowboy smiled and shook his head, and off he went to tell his friend Ned. Erupts and applause. Oh my god, look at Bonnie's pants. Or no, not Bonnie. Wendy. She looks great. Thank you for the poem. Next order of business, crime solved. <gasps> Wendy looks so cool. They all have such cool outfits. Everybody looks amazing. I love the little mouse. I'm the little mouse. I don't care what you say, I'm the little mouse. I'm pleased to announce I have recovered. Stop. I'll stop you right there, detective. I am pleased to announce I have found the culprit in the case of the missing hats. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I worked hard to come to this conclusion, so I trust I will have your full attention as I go through the facts. Please pay attention. Earlier today, I had the pleasure of appointing Mason Mole for the title of Sheriff. Everybody likes this? <laughs> yes, this is a universally loved decision. Shortly after, the detective arrived. That's me! Quiet, please, detective. As soon as the detective arrived, I'm sure you all noticed your hats go missing. Uh-oh, it's a setup. Wait. This is with great sadness I have to tell you this. The culprit of this crime, crime the hat-stealing monster of Cowboy Ken County, is none other than the second best investigator, Frog Detective. Big gasp. Our little, uh, little bug friends there. Wait, what? I have been presented a piece of evidence by our very own Mason Mole that ties a detective to the crime. What evidence? This! Oh my god. No, this is a mistake. I was digging up the hats because I'd found their location. Why do you look so mischievous? I don't. Someone has drawn eyebrows on me. I don't even have eyebrows. You have to admit, detective, you have a big motive. A motive? What? You come into a town that prides itself on hats. It's a well-known fact that you cannot wear hats. A weird head shape. Yes, thank you, Sheriff Mason Mole. Because of your weird head shape. But I don't mind if other people wear hats. It seems to me you do, Detective. Why else would you steal the hats and hide them where nobody else would ever find them? But I didn't, I swear. Tell it to the judge. What judge? Are we going to go to a full court procession? Because that would be fun. Hmm, that's a good point. We haven't seen a crime like this in our society before. We'll have to invent a punishment. I have an idea. What is it? Bad room. What? That's less of an idea, more of an ominous concept. I will elaborate. We put Frog Detective in the bad room. For punishment of crime. No! An excellent, if shocking, idea, Sheriff Mason Mole. We will construct the bad room at once. I already made it. It is in my office. Oh, well, in that case... Detective, I sentence you to one year of living in the bad room. This is the worst day of my life. Oh, frog detective, I won't put you in the bad room, I swear. <laughs> oh no. Do we gotta break out of jail now? Is it an escape room game suddenly? No, I like that there's a computer. Oh, sorry, I got the yawns. I think the Monty Mole did it. I always say Monty Mole, but it's like Mason Mole. I think. Frog Detective not guilty. No. Why are you in this bad room? 
just want a girl to slippy pop. It, it's a Seinfeld ending? Oh my god. Great song, though. I can't believe this is how it ended. <laughs> wow. It's a good song. I can't believe this. The Frog Detective. Wow. Corruption at Cowboy County, indeed. Corrupt system. Wow. This is fun. You can tell it was made after the summer of 2020. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, I think that's kind of a fun way to reckon with, like, hey, our game's whole premise is that it has to do with cops. So, <laughs> just have a little commentary. Yeah, this is Grace singing. All lobster cops are bastards. Well said. Oh my god. I love the special apologies. Optimists. This is good. We don't have anyone else to credit. There's still time left in the song. The following credits are from Degrassi, The Next Generation, Season 6, Episode 11. That is so funny. They're so funny. Cute. This game's fun. He's looking at him in prison. He's in the bad room. He's in the bad room. He didn't even get a lawyer. I want to know what Detect Frog Detective 4, if there will be one, will be like. But maybe there won't be one. Maybe I'll just be in prison for the next year. Oh, I gotta take my camera down. Let me see. And the... Look at him! He's so sad! He's so sad! Oh, Ooh, stretch check! Will do. Got a good crack in there. Touching my toes now. Thank you for the stretch check. Well, be the epilogue, I guess. Look how sad he is. Our friend. Time to start posting. <laughs> yeah, do a bunch of tweets. What do we got? Frogstrictive.net slash blog slash HTML. Very good. To my loyal frog blog readers. It's hour number one of my time in the bad room. I know that I am innocent. Unfortunately, because the number one best detective put me here, nobody will believe me. That's what you get for being second best. I'm not sure anybody reads my frog blog anymore because of my alleged crimes. Oh yeah, it got cancelled. But if you are reading, thank you. I hope to prove my innocence in the case of the hat theft and return to being as good of a detective as I can be. I'm not sure why Sheriff Mason Mole has framed me, but my hope is that it's all just one big misunderstanding, as, I, as is the case with most of the mysteries I am involved in. It would really hurt my feelings to know that he did this on purpose. I am grateful that Lobster Cop has given me access to a computer so I can continue to write my blog posts. Though I must say, I'm not sure if I'll have much to write about here. Thank you for reading. Frog Detective. Okay. Damn. Oh, somebody else is going to read it. Mystery Monkey! 
This is terrible. I can't believe this. What's going on? I'm reading the latest frog blog post. I was so excited to see how the detective solved the mystery in Cowboy County. But I can't believe it. The detective has been framed for a crime. Crime is real? Well, let's not jump to any conclusions here. Of course, sorry. What do we do, Mo? Um, we get back to our science work? I can't possibly concentrate on our scientific discoveries in these conditions. Mo, I have to help the detective. How are you gonna do that? I'll have to solve the mystery myself. Okay. Okay, we get to be a mystery monkey now, it seems. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is amazing. Oh yeah, that's good. Honestly, if anyone would have a magnifying glass, it's gonna be a scientist, right? Oh yeah, dude. Wink. Nice. Game rules. Great. That was fun. Look after the lab, Mo. I'm not coming back until I've proven the detective's innocence. Wow, Mystery Monkey is so cool. Yeah, I agree. Transformation sequence. Yeah, no sad. Okay. They're walking, they're loading. A little later. We get a scooter. Oops. Can I help you? Hi, Supervisor. My name is Mystery Monkey. We talked on the phone a while back about the mystery of the haunted island. Of course. How could I forget? It's good to see you. Likewise. I realize this is highly unusual, but I'm here about one of your detectives. Ah, is it Lobster Cop? No. Investigator Eel? No. Inspector Iguana? The Incredible Sandy Moth P.I.? That's good. No, none of those. I want to see a moth. Who is that green guy in the background with the chef's hat? I love him. Uh, I'm here about Frog Detective. Oh, of course. Ouch. Our second best detective. Well, the detective isn't around right now. I sent my top two investigators to help cover- help over in Cowboy County. You haven't heard? Heard what? The detective has been framed for a crime over in Cowboy County. That's terrible news. How can you be sure it's a setup? The story doesn't add up, and I know Frog Detective would never do something so horrible as steal the town's hats. Well, there is a clear motive there. I know, I know, but it's so out of character. Even if the detective is guilty, the punishment is really harsh. The detective has been sent to the bad room. Oh no. What's the bad room? It's something that Sheriff Mason Mole invented. Mason Mole. That name sounds familiar. Oh? I've seen him around before, just sort of loitering around the offices. Loitering, you say? I remember a kind of shady guy hanging around on Martin's Island back when we were there to investigate the noise, the ghost noises. He arrived shortly before the detective, but I didn't get a chance to catch his name. He didn't even say hello. When I saw his photo on the frog blog, I knew right away something was amiss. Great detective skills, Mystery Monkey. I know it's a big ask, but do you mind if I snoop around in Frog Detective's office to look for clues? You'd be my guest. Great. We're looking for clues. Although, maybe this is a good spot to call it. Perhaps we'll finish this up tomorrow. I like where we're at. We're doing Mystery Monkey. We're going to solve the rest of this crime. Or maybe I'll leave it for you at home. Maybe you should pick up Frog Detective yourself and solve. What do you think? Um, yes, I'm sure. Anyway, thank you for hanging out. Thank you for making a great Frog Detective game. Again, the music's happening now because I'm on the opening page. Um, why don't we raid? Um, uh, let's just have fun and raid... Lil Simsy. That's what we're gonna do. So I'll see y'all there. Great Lil Simsy. Um, yeah. Looking forward to it. Anyway, thanks for hanging out. Thanks, mods. Thanks, friends. I will see you tomorrow. Goodbye now. Bye bye.